Sharks the hardest creatures on the planet. But sharks on the other hand, were living on the planet 200 million years before dinosaurs. Sharks are without a doubt one of the oldest creatures this planet has even known. More than 450 types of shark exist in the world today, and thousands of shark species have come gone over the course of millions of years. They have lived through every major mass extinction event and have survived long past many of their competitors. Sharks are one of the most evolutionary successful species to ever live. Tracking their evolutionary history, we can learn about these amazing species and how they came to their modern forms. The story of sharks begins from 450 million years ago, during the Silurian period. Sharks first began developing as a unique species. During that time, the ocean was filled with a variety of bony fishes. One of these fish, Acantodian, was the first ancestor of the modern shark. But were the first ancestor to not only take on the physical characteristics of a shark, but to develop the cartilaginous skeletal structures that define sharks. All sharks living today have evolved from the Acantodians these about 50 million years, of after the Silurian era, the Devonian era began. The Devonian, is also known as the Golden Age of Fishes. This is when the first fully developed shark, the Leonidas shark, evolved. However, during the late Devonian era, the first shark in its modern incarnation appeared, the Cladisolash. The Cladisolash's body looked more like what a modern shark looks like. It was 6 feet long, with a streamlined body, 5 to 7 gill slits, and dorsal fins. But the Devonian extinction event at end of Devonian period killed of at least 75% of all species on Earth, including many lineages of fish that once swam the oceans and with that disruption the golden age of fishes ends. But sharks survived the Devonian extinction event this allowed sharks to dominate on ocean, giving rise to a whole variety of shapes and forms, and became quite diverse in the nest age the Carboniferous. The Carboniferous era began around 360 million years ago. On land, the world's first rainforest emerged. Early club mosses, conifers, and cycads some more than 100 feet tall covered the planet with foliage. On water sharks also split into many subspecies including rays, skates, and chimeras. Sharks had incredibly diverse physiognomy during the Carboniferous era. The Carboniferous era is known as the golden age of sharks and in general golden age of animals. Some of the most unique species of sharks that ever existed lived during this era. For example Stethacanthus, Eugeniodontia, and Falcatus. In this time period, the body of the sharks as well as the senses developed so far that they can detect fishes around 15 m. They have a reflective layer behind the their eyes called tapetum lucidum, helps them to see things easily in low light. Not only this, they also hypersensitive to smell, by which they can easily smell a single drop of blood in ocean. With these senses, they have also an another senses that make them the apex predator of the ocean called electroreception. Electroreception is the sixth sense for the sharks. It's actually an ability to detect the electric fields that permeate the water. Sharks receive tiny electric signal from their environment via a series of pores peppered over their heads. These pores are distributed in discrete patterns. In this picture you can see the clusters of pores around its eyes and nostrils. All animals generate electricity around them when their muscles contract in movement and their heart beats. This current radiates away from them in the water. When these electrical current travel towards the shark's pores, trigger the sensory neurons and neurotransmitters in shark's brain, which tells them they are close to something alive. Throughout the world, now there are more than 1,000 different species of sharks existed, who use these abilities to reign in the ocean for not even 100 or 1,000 years but for 450 million years. Sharks are literally a survival machine of the ocean. After the Carboniferous era, the Permian era began. The end of the Permian era saw yet another mass extinction event, wiping out around 96% of all marine life, but a handful of sharks' lineages survived. After these sharks immersed more unique evolutionary quirks of Jurassic era, sharks began to evolve flexible and protruding jaws so they could attack and eat larger prey. They also developed unique tail and fins that allowed them to swim faster and efficiently. Most of sharks also developed mouths under their snout. Sharks also evolved bioluminescent among deep sea sharks. After that the Jurassic era the Cretaceous era began, the beginning these time sharks were once again widely common and varied in the ancient seas, before experiencing their fifth mass extinction event. While much of life became extinct during the end Cretaceous extinction event including all non-avian dinosaurs, but the sharks once again persisted. But they were still affected. 
Fossil records show that the asteroid strike at the end of the Cretaceous killed off many of the largest species of shark. Only the smallest and deep sea sharks are still alive. Many of the sharks still alive and today developed like the frilled shark or the goblin shark. Originated during the Cretaceous era, after that during the early Cenozoic era, about 60 million years ago. In this time the most famous prehistoric shark evolved the megalodon. The earliest megalodon fossil was 20 million years old. For the next 13 million years, the enormous shark dominated the oceans until becoming extinct just 3.6 million years ago. Megalodon was adapted to warm tropical and subtropical locations around the planet. After some millions of years of the early Cenozoic era, the modern Cenozoic era began and continues into the present time. The globe older than dinosaurs, even older than trees. But over the past few years sharks are facing threat. According to the reports, on an average, sharks kill 10 people in a year. On the other hand, for shark meat, skins, fins and internal organs, around 100 million sharks are killed every year. That's almost 200 sharks per minute, and from this, 75 millions of sharks are killed just for 3 to 4 percent of body parts in which sharks are mostly killed for shark finning. Do you know why this shark finning? Just for making soup. And you will be more horrified to know the procedure of making this soup. At first, a fisherman captures an alive shark, then he removes the fin with a red hot metal knife. After this painful cut, they throw the still living shark back into the ocean to die with a slow painful death by suffocation and excessive bleeding. It's a cruel and inhumane practice, and it's all for the sake of a dish called shark fin soup. That's horrible. In the past 20 years or so, the demand for shark fin soup got a rocket boost as it is a status symbol in many countries. It's also a very complicated issue because even where it's banned, but peoples do not stop trade and sell their fins. Fishing technology more advanced now than decades ago, shark finning has increased, despite it being illegal to trade or purchase in many countries. Also, a new problem has arisen. Fishermen are switching to shark meat and creating new appetites for a product that wasn't popular before. In many countries trade in shark meat has grown exponentially so finning bans alone aren't enough to reduce the number of sharks being killed. A new approach is clearly needed. We have the solution to save them and you can help. Yeah. 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 Yeah.